Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, defense replays time for the week. I'm really annoyed this week because as you can see I ended the week at 4th Ether. I had to, for the final 4 fights, I had to get the Ether on all of them. And unfortunately, I just couldn't do it in the last one in order to unlock the final bonus fight. And I actually tried 3 times, I had 2 ladders left and all the times, the first one I couldn't get the final pot, the next one I believe I failed and the final one um, I uh, I don't remember but I just lost and it's so annoying. I couldn't have reached tier 27 quite yet because I would have been 80 points short which would have meant that I needed a perfect offense but eh, not a perfect offense. I, uh, I actually took 3 deaths earlier in the week I had to take some bad fights uh, and yeah that's really annoying the other annoying thing is as you can see one two three four fights happen in the same day and uh, they all happen at the same time so I couldn't even fish for some good rematches and throughout the entire week I got this rematch this rematch and this rematch whereas with these three fights I was the one that got rematched by my opponents so basically I didn't really have any easy fights for uh, Sunday and Monday and yeah I'm quite peeved by that uh, let's go through these this is a not even a fully merged uh, CC Vantage Tharja this week was war week so most people were using um, Legendary Azora uh, this guy, I don't even think he's using any bonus units. At the beginning of the fight, you get all these uncompetitive fights that are really just there. Um, the the uh, matchmaking algorithm doesn't really didn't really count much. And yeah, um, one thing that I did uh, was I started the week with Soth here. He was supposed to be here. I didn't realize it until uh, halfway into the week and when I did I actually put on the save set that I had which didn't have hardy bearing I had uh, attack speed on him so I lost one fight because I didn't have hardy bearing on him uh, the other two things that I changed throughout the week was the fact that this Lirina I was expecting her to be baited here by uh, legendary Lucina uh, but whereas I usually make use of attack speed bond, in this case she would have been able to be tanked and retaliated. I should have been giving her a sturdy blow too, which I do, but only at the end of the week, so it didn't end up mattering. And finally, uh, these two Thraceers could actually be running a 3 cooldown special, uh, because they get, uh, they get infantry pulse from these three units. Uh, at the end of the week I give Luna to uh, both of them. Um, what I could be doing was giving one of them quick and pulse or maybe one of them uh, I could give her uh, a dragon flower and uh, infantry pulse and then the other one as, as well as the Lina could have been using um, an AoE special. However I really like Luna on Lina and here you can see that the two missing merges on Tharja ended up mattering. The plus 10 HP and plus 10 defense given by Thracier really ends up being quite strong. Some really squishy units such as Lolina end up being really really powerful. So let's go back here and this is the start of my day 2. For offense, again, I wasn't able to record anything. Um, this guy is going to do um, hit and run with Ophelia. I've seen this done before. I'm never really impressed by it because you require lots of movement skills in order to get her out of the way. However, with uh, Legendary Azor, it, end it ends up being a little bit easier. Oh, sorry. Huh. My window did some noise uh, but anyways on offense I ended up using a combination really of both um, of both my usual Omega tank uh, Brave Hector who might be getting a rerun uh, this month um, so I might be spending a few orbs in order to um, 
gave him some more merges and also I really uh, found that Matthew is just a powerhouse she he is just so 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 powerful um, it, he requires a little more uh, a little more effort in order to um, leverage his uh, preference weapon but when you do he is just really really really, really powerful I didn't end up using uh, I only ended up using Legendary Leaf once actually because um, he's a little bit harder to use compared to um, compared to uh, Matthew. Uh, Matthew, I had one setup where he was supported by Brim Micaiah, and in the other setup he was supported by a dancer. At the beginning of the week I started out supporting him by, uh, with Raisin. But later on, since Legendary Azora is just a beast and she was free, I ended up using her. So here's a Coronia setup. Uh, if a Soth had been here, he would have been safer. But still, um, he has only 11 1 healing tower. I don't get it. And as you'll see, uh, he ends up being sniped by Lina once again. Uh, who survives through her through the initial attack and it's quite cool actually um, Lelina with 51 HP and 30 something defense ends up being quite tanky really so yeah he is nice to Harley Berry user he thinks he's safe but he's not boom dead and um, she actually used Wings of Mercy to get here uh, because, as, you, as we saw earlier, she has attack speed bond. So, uh, Halloween Hector, uh, he comes in, he tries to clean up, but something's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is that Tracer is absolutely busted. As you'll see so yeah a couple attacks to soften up and boom he's dead and Tracer has a special again so it's turn 5 he is unable to really bait the, the minion and therefore he has to quit because he has two dragons who are who have weakness and uh, Rhenia who also has a color weakness against uh, Tracer this guy I uh, ended up rematching. This isn't a competitive player, and somehow, despite how much I trash Faye and Naoi, he manages to beat my setup with a Faye and a Naoi. Uh, my AI gets sort of caught up onto itself. I don't really. Get, uh, at first, I didn't really get why, but then I realized, oh wait, there's a level four tactics room in a position where you don't really guarantee that it will work, because yes, the two central spot are the most important ones but uh, what if I was using a team that was uh, boxed over here so yeah this is really annoying if Tracer had an assist skill she would have been able to move she would have been danced and she would have killed an Aoi but yeah this isn't a competitive fight so it's not really something to worry about I ended up rematching this guy on Sunday and he was only tier 22 so nothing crazy here uh, Mikaya ends up tanking everybody because she is buffed she has 45 res and she has attack rest bond 7 so yeah these do nothing these do nothing he doesn't even get the ether and uh, this shows yeah about the quality of this fight he could have been getting the ether but he chooses not to get it on day two so yeah yeah and that's it next up we have this guy the final fight for day two again this isn't a competitive team it's an air on astro season it's defensive mythic on on offense and an effort on it wasn't even fire season it was wind and water so uh, this team was probably scoring 80 points or maybe Yoon was the bonus here but still uh, <laughs> that's not a competitive team he doesn't try to tank the Lalina with an air 
this is a good move uh, you don't tank a Luna and I believe at this at one point he actually uses Gale Force uh, but he after doing so yeah after this attack he moves without attacking yeah as you can see oh actually no it was the lunge so he didn't move that's my mistake but yeah uh, with all the stuff that I've got what's he gonna do I've got an insane amount of stats on everybody and yeah somehow I got panicked I don't know why I, oh panic man of course I don't even, I'm not even a fan of Panic Banner on defense or on offense. On defense it can work, uh, on offense not at all. Um, panic teams are rare and it's better to just pack an Aversa or a Virion, something like that. And then we have the first rematch of the week. I believe I didn't beat this guy which is why he rematched me no I did beat this guy yeah and again uh, only one Naga but he's using a uh, this was a bonus unit I think he was a bonus unit as well and he had the cloud on defense I remember the cloud being on defense That's a big guidance move. He tries getting rid of all my buildings, but he spent a lot of time doing so. I wonder if these people will be using um, Halloween Hector or uh, the new Ephraim. Uh, even what even when they're not bonus units they're fine they're fine but uh, I don't know much about how useful they would be beyond that if, especially with the fact that you would have to run a dedicated building uh, almost necessarily so yeah this was a case where he simply ran out of time yeah yeah it's fine to have a Hector but the problem is he's over here and I'm over here are you really going to get all the way and get danced and do all that stuff oh and I sniped a Naga with the Wings of Mercy and I snapped the Raisin as well so it's virtually impossible for him to clear the rest of my team uh, let's see this guy I don't really remember his, his defense oh right this guy but it's possible that he saw my video he's only running one naga of course if he only pulled one that's problem he doesn't run vantage he runs s drink which will allow him to um to get his gale force off on the first turn and he gives him bonus doubler as well it was wind season so legendary Hollywood was an option so he snipes the salt and again I haven't moved anybody yet and then you can reposition out really easily not much I could do here really uh, this was another fight that made me consider running a second dancer or somehow a different setup um, because my team just wasn't uh, mobile enough yeah that's that's pretty much all and with the fact that um, with the fact that legendary Lucina was a bonus unit I'm gonna consider this for the future as well uh, I might in these weeks uh, swap out um, Selef in favor of a uh, Brave Ike with Infantry Pulse because uh, he just 
uh, I've noticed it myself with my own letter to Lucina when uh, faced with a sell-off the first hit was enough to send him to 1 HP or to below 50% or whatever so uh, Miracle ended up never proccing this is another uh, legendary leaf with um, some more of a combo so this is more of a full on gale force he has 3 gale forcers on his team uh, however only one naga and yeah, this spot is sort of vulnerable once again. Usually, I wouldn't even have a problem with this spot, the uh, because simply because Soth is really tanky. He has thirty defense, fifty six HP. Uh, Lina has a little bit more defense, but in general, uh, if Tracer had been here, she would have been so much easier to snipe. I don't I don't actually remember what they do here. So okay, they snipe this one, they can oh right, they go here. Is this guy running here is running gas drink and he is running sturdy blow instead of a uh, instead of a brazen set. Oh and it's all uh, it's also the worst possible IV is plus HP minus attack. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you pulled this one. But yeah, something like an aerobatics dancer would probably be better with this setup compared to uh, the other one. Uh, I really like Wings of Mercy to clean up, however, as you can see, uh, it's not gonna do it. The, the problem that they're facing is that they spent a ton of time. Okay, so they kill him. They kill her. And they finish off my... Uh, my... Uh, what's her name? My Tracer. Yeah, so well played by them. Um... Again, it's a single Naga team, so maybe in a few months, uh, next, with this uh, with this Mythic banner, there's gonna be a rerun of Naga, so I would expect most people to be pulling for her, uh, especially because blue is really good. Um, in blue, there is uh, also um, Legendary Julia, and I don't remember the third unit, but it's a good one. It might have been um, legendary Tiki, but uh, don't quote me on that. So yeah, this guy actually takes the fight, even though he loses two units. He doesn't even have a lair, so he is forced to. But this is once again another Cronia. He doesn't respect the hardy bearing. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, are you sure? Yeah, exactly 57. I don't even know how many merges he had on, but this was just super clean. <laughs> All right, one problem with um, one problem with Soph is that since he's running life and death his defense isn't as high as it could be so I could swap that around for um, probably sturdy impact would be the best option uh, sturdy impact is fantastic on daggers so he sacrifices the naga once again uh, and the wings of mercy gets burned I can't even kill either of these units with Luna so that's disappointing and this is another player with a level 1 healing tower. I'm not a fan of that at all. If I had a rally, she would have been able to rally. She would have been danced and she would have sniped the uh, Zora. So again, uh, I'm going to take this into consideration for next week. I don't think they're going to be able to get the ether pots. Maybe just one. No. Okay. 
And finally, this is the final fight of the week. The rematch, I think, was pretty easy. Uh, just to do my nothing special. Oh, never mind. This was, I think this was the one where I couldn't get the final pot. Because he was using the lava map and yeah, really annoying. Uh, having Naga sucks compared to air. If I had an air, I would have really easily been able to do that. But yeah. Uh, overall, I'm quite disappointed with this week. I definitely could have done better. I definitely would have been top 1000. So he triggers the trap with the dancer just to make sure that it is a trap and he will be in range of the ceiling tower. This week was quite a weird week. Um, it was easy on some regards. Offense was quite easy on some regards. Oh yeah, and this is, uh, as I mentioned, the fight where, yeah, I forget to put Hardy Bearing back on him. So yeah, my mistake. Nothing I could really do here. My healing tower can be sniped. This was a week where many people were using dancers, where uh, Lenjuri Azora was usable. So uh, my team sort of has, my uh, map sort of has a weakness to that. And here he just cleans house. Everything gets sniped by the Cronia. Nothing I can do. So yeah, dead, 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 dead. And he's already got in the pots, it's the final turn for him, and it's the second to last turn for him, and that's it, yeah. I think that's it for this week, I'm really quite annoyed, alright, I have this setup, this was my fishing setup, uh, and I will definitely consider, um, and this build is fine, I will definitely consider um, giving the trade series a rally just to slow things down or maybe just a drawback uh, or a combination of the two I'll think about it come the next Astra season thank you guys for watching uh, and I hope I'll see you next time bye bye